Hello, welcome back to Kim Reads as we continue with Happy Birthday, Samantha. Chapter Door. Chapter Four. Follow that dog. Jip, Jip led a very cheerful parade to Grand Mercy Park. He pranced along the sidewalk, pulling the leash. Ragnus and Agatha skipped uh, to keep up with him. Samantha followed behind, proudly pushing her new doll carriage. Even the doll Agnes had loaned her, which was rather tired-looking, seemed to perk up in the fine red pan outside the midday sunshine. Grand, Mer Grand Mercy Park was a pretty rectangular green across the street from Garden Cornelia's house. It was fenced on all four sides by the tall black iron railings with two lock gates. The, f the buildings that surrounded it s seemed like it looked down on the quiet park, little park fondly, as if it wanted to protect it from the hubbub of that city. Agnes unlocked one gate and the girls followed Jip into the park. He zigzagged from one side of the path to the other, sniffing out interesting scents as they led the girls to a, a large fountain in the center of the park. Uh, around the bottom of the fountain there was a pool where the tin swans swam. How pretty, said Samantha. The swans looked almost real. Jip seemed to agree with Samantha. He growled at the swans and dragged on this leech, trying to get ahead of them. Stop it, Jip, scolded Samantha. I mean, scolded Agatha, jerking him back. She tried to put Jip away, but, she, but he lunged and leaped, barking wildly all the while. Jip's pulling my arm out, complained Agatha. You better or carry him, suggested Samantha. So, Aunt, so Agatha pulled Jip up, but he kept barking even when from the fountain when Agatha pulled him down Jip tried to run back to the swans so they put him uh, so they picked him up again he squirmed her arms I'm tired of carrying Jip Agatha wine you take him Agnes absolutely not said Agnes he'll get paw prints all over my uh, my dress I don't want to be a mess like you are after all she said in a hoity-toity voice Ladies do not make spectacles of themselves. Samantha had to laugh. Agnes sounded just like Grand Mary. Well, it's not fair, grumbled Agatha. I've been carrying Jip up. It was your dumb idea to ring him. It was not, said Agatha. It was too, said Agatha. It was not, it was too. Oh, I'll carry him, Samantha said firmly. You'll have to put him in the, pr you'll push the pram, Agatha. Agatha eyed the doll carriage. No, she said, I have a better idea. What now, S said Agnes. Let's put Jip in the pram. That was the way none of us will have to carry him. Agnes, said Agatha. Agnes was instantly enthusiastic. Oh, that is a good idea, she said. He can sit next to the doll. But Samantha didn't think it was such a good idea. We promised Cornelia we wouldn't let Jip off the leash, she reminded the twins. Well, we're... We're not going to let Jip off the leash, said Agatha. We're going to let me off the leash. Just watch. She, Agatha slipped the leash off her wrist and put Jip in the pram. She looped the leash around the, the handle of the pram. There, you see, she said, he's perfectly safe. Samantha shook her head. I don't think Ag Agnes interrupted. Oh, don't be such a worry wart, Samantha. There's a brand new way to walk a dog. It's a great idea. Doesn't Jip look cute? Jip did look cute, but only for a second. He yanked the leash off his mouth and pulled it off the handle. Therefore, the girls could, could grab him. He leaped off the carriage and took off like a street. Stop! shouted Samantha. Jip, stop! She r started to run after him, trying to grab the leash, dragging him in the dirt. Jip, Jip, Jip! Agatha yelled. She hopped up and down, waving her arms. Oh, no! Oh no, all three girls wailed all three girls when they saw Jip whack, wiggle between the iron bars of the fence and slipped out of the park. Just for a second, he turned to look at them. What will we do now, girl and Agnes? Cornelia will be furious. Quick, climb over the fence, yelled Agatha wildly. She j ran to the fence and started to sh 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 the shiny knee up, shimmy up the iron bars. Split up. Get the fireman. Call the police. Agnes just stood still while while holding her face in her hands, moaning. 
Samantha saw that she was going to have to take charge. Don't just stand there, she ordered. We've got to catch him. Come on. She, she led the twins to the gate and pushed it open. They could see Jip halfway through the block, his white tail waving like a feather as he trotted along. The gate swung shut behind them. Your dog carriage! Uh, cried Agnes. Leave it! Samantha cried as she ran. We've got to get Jip. The three girls get took off their Jip. He was running toward a big hotel around the corner. Samantha saw a group of people waiting in front with piles of lugs around them. Stop that dog! She cried, but Jip was too fast. He bounded through the crowd, jumped over a truck, and a slip around the corner. As the girls jumped after him, Samantha heard a low, frightening grumble. A shower of soot felt like black snow. She looked up for a second to see a train running along the trap built over the street. When she looked down the train again, Jip had disappeared. Where'd he go? She gasped to Agnes. I don't know, Agnes wailed. We've lost him, gone forever and ever. Not if I can help it, said Samantha. She ran up to a man pushing a cart full of strawberries. Have you seen our dog? She answered urgently. Yes, yes, he went that way. He pointed further up the street. Thanks, yelled Samantha. There he is. Th thanks, yelled Samantha. There he is, shouted Agatha. They saw Jip's tail bouncing ahead of a wagon over with flowers. The wagon looked just like Grand Mary's Lee's Garden in Mount Bedford, but chasing Jip in New York City was a lot different from chasing him in Mount Bedford. The city was so big and Jip was so little. What if they lost him? What if? Clang, clang, clang. Samantha practically jumped out of her skin at the big street car jumped up to the curb in front of her. The huge, sweaty horses that pulled it up shook it off their harnesses, snorting as if they were waiting to get off. Samantha looked at these heavy hooves and how easily Jip could be crushed by them. Now where is he? cried Agnes. I see him, said off. Then on the other side of the park, the the girls dashed across the street, weaving behind a dragon full of rattling milk cans and not Miguel blared the horn at them. Jip was far ahead and out, slithering like a snake through the crowd. It was hard for the girls to move very fast across the sidewalk, so full of people. They had to wave their between fashionable ladies, gentlemen, and straw hats, boys selling newspapers, and workmen carrying heavy loads. Excuse me, excuse me, said Samantha as she and the twins j all jolted past people. Agatha the tripped over a loose brick in the sidewalk and fell on her knees. Ow! She wailed, almost in tears. She knelt to the sidewalk. Go ahead, leave me behind. No, said Samantha as she helped Agatha get up and dusted her, her off. You're fine. Come on, she said. You can't stop now. We need you. We need to be. You're the best one at spotting Jip. None of them saw Jip again, again until they saw the corner of Fifth Avenue. The widest and busiest street in New York. Look, said Agatha, pointing with both hands. There's Jip in the street. Samantha the leap to the curb to get him when suddenly the pavement shook beneath her feet. Someone yanked her back up on the sidewalk. She was almost crushed in the tumble. People who scrambled on the curb. Watch out, a voice cried. Fire engine, out of the way. Jip, yelled Samantha. She caught a glimpse of Jip, but then two huge horses gaveled in front of her pulling a fire engine. It's deafening bell out over the shouts and screams from the hood, from the crowd. The firemen clung the, sh the shiny hump in the middle of the wagon as if it passed in a blur of red and silver for, for stirring up a cloud. Passing the street, racing up like the wind. Chip, 
Samantha whispered, was Jip somewhere in the class of dust? Jip, nothing moved in the street. Oh, Jip, we should never let you go. And that's the end of that chapter. See you later.